Hello, my beautiful diamonds. You know, I was looking at some videos where this guy, he is going around picking up women and the women reject him until he gets into a nice car and then all of a sudden the women have a change of heart. So he calls them nothing but gold diggers. Never does he take the time to think about, look at the kind of women that you pick up. If she's a gold digger, you're nothing but shallow, superficial, and stuck on stupid. Would you pick up a woman who's 400 to 600 pounds? She has a good heart. She's an amazing woman. She has so much to bring to the table. Now you have this guy who will say, yeah, so the woman is saying, take me shopping. Because if you want to be shallow and superficial, I can be just as shallow and superficial. So he says, well, what do you have to bring to the table? Well, I can't speak for all women, but if he would have asked me something like that, I would have been prepared. Because here is what I personally, Sheila True Love, have to bring to the table. I have a sense of fun, playfulness, and I'm, I'm adventurous. What about consideration? I will always respect his time, his space, and do things without being asked. A man don't have to ask me for something twice. Tell me once, baby, and it's as good as done. And then from time to time, I'll bring him some gifts. And what about passion? I'm a very passionate person. And I'm not just talking about sexual or, or, or physical. I'm passionate about whatever I believe in. And I'm a firm believer. You already know she the true love. I'm a 50-50 type of gal. I share the responsibilities like paying bills and doing chores and housework. I'm also very dependable, reliable, responsible. I've always followed through with whatever I say I will do. If I say I'm going to be somewhere or I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. What else do I have to bring to the table? Respect. I'll value his opinions. Th this doesn't mean that I will always agree with everything he says, but I will defend and, and I will definitely stand up for him. I'll have his back. And I'm a girl who loves to laugh. So what else do I have to bring to the table? Humor, laughter. I always try to keep things upbeat and positive. I can laugh at myself and some of life's craziness. How about that? And I always have had morals, values, and a strong sense of family values. I've never forgotten an anniversary, a birthday, or anything that's important to the family. I'm working on my patience. I admit that my patience and my tolerance at times, you know, I have uh, lost my patience depending on how old are you and you should know certain things by now. At the same time, I'm praying about that because it's one of the fruitages of the spirit. And I have no, let me tell you something, behind every great man, there's an even greater woman. And what do I have to bring to the table? I have no problem helping my partner to reach or attain his goals. And when it comes to common sense, honey, I have my PhD. I'm strong, I'm intelligent, I'm energetic, and I'm all, I've always been very, very independent. I mainly depend and trust in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At the same time, I know how the Holy Spirit can work through people. Emotional support intellectual connection. Like I said, shared responsibilities, companionship. What about that? Women can offer friendship and give him a sense of belonging. Women can encourage and support his personal development, helping him to become a better version of himself. That's what I have to bring to the table. You know, women are known. We're known for being very nurturing. That just comes natural natural to women. We provide nurturing and caring and we can take anything. I could take a house, an apartment, a condo, anything, and I can turn it into a home. And I believe in teamwork, teamwork to make the dream work. And also when it comes to spirituality, that above all, I will always, always pray for you and have you in my prayers. Trust me when I tell you, Jehovah God and Jesus Christ take my prayers very seriously. And that's a support network. Women can become a part of a man's support. We offer you encouragement and we help you in times of need. So when it comes to asking women, well, what else do you have to bring to the table be trying, besides trying to look good and 
walking around thinking makeup, hair. No, baby, I have a lot to offer. And I'm sure that a lot of you beautiful diamonds, you beautiful queens out there, I'm not talking uh, to women who, who have mental and emotional issues. I'm speaking to the queens out there, sweetheart. You have a lot to bring to the table besides men treating you like you're nothing more than a piece of meat or you're good for nothing but becoming his personal toilet bowl with sloppy toppies. Oh, hell no. That's why I said I have had men look out for me and do amazing things for me. I've only dealt with one man who was cheap and stingy, and that was my second husband. Oh, my God. And that's because I wasn't really his type. He wasn't looking for a woman of quality. He was he wanted white women, pale-skinned women, because he bought into these this very weak-minded person, very gullible. He allowed society to brainwash him into believing that light skin, pale skin, is superior to melanated skin. You see, you could never have me, she the true love, a true queen, buy into that nonsense because melanated skin, that is the fountain of youth. We can be 50 and look 30. Whereas, you know, we are the fountain of youth. Melanated skin is amazing. When you think about the, 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 the everyone trying to stay young looking, I mean, that's a billion dollar industry. Whereas when you think about melanated skin, that's natural. We're walking. We, we are the walking fountain of youth. So I'm not going to let society make a jackass out of me and make me buy into melanated skin is inferior to pale or light skin. And I'm not trying to offend anyone because a lot of people will agree. They say black don't crack. And you have a lot of women now who are trying to have children and they want their children to have melanin in their skin because they know that it is the fountain of youth. So why would I buy into that? You're not fooling this girl. I've never really been weak-minded nor very gullible. But anyway, my second husband, very weak-minded, like I said, I can tell what his type was by looking at the kind of porno that he looked at. I look at the kind of women that he is willing to spend money on. I look at the kind of women that I see him lusting after on the street, totally disrespectful, always was. And when a man, when, when you are not really a man's type, I already made a video about this. He's tight fist. He's cheap. He's stingy. And that ex-husband of mine, that was the only, the only man I ever dealt with in my whole life that was so cheap and stingy. To this day, Dusty still owes me money that he hasn't paid. And do I counter that? No, not really, because I think he's still dibbling and dabbling with his nonsense, pretending to be on his spiritual journey. That's a bunch of bull crap. But like I said, ladies, we have so much more to bring to the table besides tits, booty, sloppy toppies. So just go over the list and keep in mind that you do have qualities and traits to bring to a relationship. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.